Uh, this is Paul. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading this uh, law dictionary, and they have what's called uh, written interrogatories, uh, party to a lawsuit, uh, can compel an opponent to write down under oath answers to written questions sent to him. <laughs> Written interrogatories seek to obtain detailed information from the records uh, the opponent has in his possession or under his control. Yeah. And then there's a wrongful act, an act that will in any way physically or emotionally damage another person. In most instances, a wrongful act is done is one that is done intentionally and willfully <laughs> then there's wrongful commitment the act of confining a person to a mental institution without proceeding uh, lawfully or committing someone who does not belong such a facility false imprisonment <laughs> then you have wrongful imprisonment false imprisonment wrongfully depriving a person of his liberty <laughs> you know I, I got to thinking about Homeland Security's involvement in my personal life and the lives of my sons and, and uh, as I was going through it it seemed to me that Janet or Jane had made arrangements for Heidi to have me arrested on Guam now on uh, July 8th of 2011 they issued a protection order where it seems like Homeland Security has been very, very involved in the wrongful imprisonment of myself <laughs> and uh, the wrongful acts involved in my son's lives. Now every wrong decision made by every federal employee is punishable with a number of years in prison. Now, I did seven hours of parenting classes because I did not commit any domestic violence and I didn't commit any child abuse. <laughs> Heidi actually hit me. Now, I do remember we were living at the Guam Airport Hotel and Heidi had mentioned, well, what are you interrogating me? And I thought, no. But my wife had uh, begun to exhibit some behaviors that were questionable. And when she started asking me, are you trying to interrogate me? It, it got me thinking, especially when she said, well, I want you to see something in ICE detention center. And I wonder how many of those from Homeland Security really employed interrogators to interrogate those that they had imprisoned in ICE detention centers. You know, it could be a scary thing when you have a large number of German shepherds and you think that Homeland Security is going to take over the nation. <laughs> Putting me in an ICE detention center and interrogating me, pooch. <laughs> you know, it would be a very, very uncomfortable situation. Now, I need to know all the Nazi lesbian witches in Homeland Security that have gone around interrogating people because they thought they had the right to violate the constitutional rights of Americans. <laughs> and for every day and every second that you, Homeland Security, decided you were going to interrogate the nation and control the nation, I would tell every top, top, top secret federal employee that were absolutely sure of the Nazi interrogation techniques of ripping the teeth out or in some way taking the brains of those that are citizens. So I'll need to know every interrogation of Homeland Security, okay? Now, I should not have gone to jail uh, in uh, 2012. Somebody had arranged for Heidi to file for divorce before they had me arrested for that probable cause arrest. <laughs> when I didn't violate the protection order, I was calling to see if they got the information from Guam. Now, for every top secret Homeland Security person that was involved, all the body doubles, quite possibly... Heidi would have stayed home and worked on her schoolwork so she could get her master's degree. 
and using body doubles and then Heidi being the two or three of those that walked around and got all these forms filled up. As I looked at the signatures back in 2012, every imposter and body double that was on Homeland Security's payroll committed the wrongful act of representing Heidi Budnick as being the actual person when it was really some felon from some prison. <laughs> so I'm going to need to know every person that Homeland Security has had knowledge of that has talked to any person because they were supposedly Heidi Budnick. Now most of these signatures are forgeries. Oh, now did Heidi actually go to this children in the middle or did her body double? <laughs> okay. Now, um, these child support worksheets and working through the state of Washington, how many body doubles and imposters were actually speaking to state employees that were not actually Heidi Lee Budnick? <laughs> yeah. And then this motion for default, um, who was that? Was that Heidi Lee Budnick high on cocaine that she signed her last name as Hodges? Or was it Heidi Lee Budner that thought, well, we'll just get a default divorce because Homeland Security is going to run this whole operation. <laughs> now, I'm going to need to know every person that Homeland Security paid to be Heidi Lee Budnick when they were not Heidi Lee Budnick and every person they spoke to above and beyond just my five sons. Now, one wrongful act makes for another wrongful act that makes for another wrongful act. Now, I just want to mention that I was arrested in 2012, but I was found not guilty, but there was no jurisdiction for the arrest. <laughs> and then I was arrested again on January 4th of 2015. You remember this, where I wasn't in Squim on that day? Um, what body double, clone, or imposter did I supposedly have a fight with? that Homeland Security had authorized the payments to. <laughs> now, when you have almost a trillion dollars worth of cash, Homeland Security, where you can get pallets of $100 bills and just pass them out, well, we'll make another movie, we'll make another movie, we'll make another movie. What you don't know is I've been arrested and falsely imprisoned no less than three times, inclusive of Guam, that would be four times. <laughs> And I almost, almost, you notice here in this competency as a result of mental disease or defect, defend and understand nature, no treatment order just as yet. But when you really look at a defendant in custody, oh, evaluation at treatment facility, pooch, pooch, pooch. <laughs> Seemed like Homeland Security had authorized the payments of large numbers of body doubles to abuse my sons and to have me put in Western State Hospital. Now, I just want to mention that having five sons that are not of the age of majority, the age of majority is generally the legal age which a person achieves the the what is it called capacity for independent action and responsibility in public affairs now when you look here in Washington state uh, you're not an adult until a certain age time between filing suits so on and so forth <laughs> now when you really think about it okay page two 428 oh there it is washington state now this is an old book but you're not actually an adult until the age of 18 you can't get married you can't do certain things okay you can't vote until you're 18 years old you can't buy liquor until you're 21 years old you can't drive until you're 16 years old now as a father of five sons there's a whole lot of Homeland Security personnel going to prison.